Today, we have an interesting challenge. As you can see, we are having an amp list here, which is our input, which is going to print the list of all the employees. And then we are having this code. This code is going to find the sum of the salaries of all the employees. And this is working fine. So we can execute the code. You can see we are getting the correct answer as 31,000. But the thing is, it is starting from zero. And we need to say that currently we let's say have some balance of 9000 so we need to start it with 9000 and then add this 31000 to the existing sum of 9000 so the question is how we can do so one option is that we can get this 31000 out of this optional and then simply add 9000 to it that is very simple but for this we need to know that how we can get the value out of optional which we don't know as of now so Another option is that here within the reduce, what we can do is we can say here something like this 9000 and then we just need to say a comma. Now since this value salary is going to be a double, so instead of saying 9000, we need to say here 9000.0 and this way it is going to become a double. Now the thing is that since we have provided an initial value, we don't need to make it as optional and we can simply say it as double. So what we are actually doing is we are providing an initial seed value or you can say an initial identity or something an initial starting value we are providing to it. Now let's execute the code. So you can see we are getting the correct answer. Now the question is can we make it even more shorter? The answer is yes. What we can do is we can say here double something like this and then we can invoke the method sum here. Within this sum we can say here s1 comma s2 which is going to look something like this. I hope this is not clearly visible so let me make it like this. Now this is going to look and let's again execute this is still working fine. The benefit of using double here is that now we can make usage of method reference. So let's simply replace it like this and again I can move it here so that it looks good in this particular way also. Let's execute and you can see we are still getting the right answer. Do like the video if you learned something new today. Thanks.